I'm speaking with Mike Parker this morning from Solus Minerals. Mike, morning. Morning, Andrew. How are you doing? Yeah, good, Mike. Good to speak with you. You've had some news in the last couple of days here on your Guaneros project in Peru. Uh, these new high-priority targets identified from drone mag and geochem surveys. T tell us a bit, bit more about them. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. Yeah, um, we've completed the drone mag survey in Guaneros during the month of August, and we've received the, the initial data. And we've managed to compare that data with our sort of in-depth knowledge of the area with other mag surveys. And we can see that there's various areas of interest that have popped out, particularly in the south of the area where we've identified a mag high that comes out from the from the intrusive that's close there. And interestingly, as we've gone into that area, we've done some rock geochemistry and come up with some really positive samples for copper and gold right close to those anomalies. And it, if you look at the geology and the way it hangs together, it's starting to make sense to be a really, really good target for us. And so what are the next steps, Mike, for Guaneros? Guaneros now is going to be subject to a series of more mapping exercises and obviously following up on the, on the mag, we'll do some more interpretation of the data, give us some more definition, some more vectoring into the areas that are most of interest. And we'll try and see if we can get some other geophysical programs done there, um, specifically induced polarization. That gives us a, a great view of the, any sulfide contents to, to go for and drill programs. There's, there's, a, there's a restriction in Guaneros, as in most of the coastal area, you have some recent cover. That cover doesn't allow IP to, to be very effective, but we're hoping we can get some areas we, where we can do some IP and then lead it up to uh, drill permitting and drilling during the, the end of next year, I would guess. Well, just on that, remind us, this is one of, I believe, five project areas you're moving towards drill-ready status. That's right, Andrew. Yeah, we have we have five projects that are now being developed. The two most advanced ones are, are in this coastal area. In fact, the one is northwest of Guaneros, that's Chancho Al Palo, and one is southeast, and that's Ilo Esti. And basically, it's the same trend that we're looking at through there. Chancho Al Palo is, is well advanced in its permitting. We're, we're optimistic that can be finished by the end of quarter four this year. It's, a, it's always a long process, and it's obviously mostly out of our hands the way the permitting goes. But the way that the, the calendar of these things tends to work, we're pretty, we're pretty much on track for that. Elo SD is, is also well advanced in permitting. It's a more complex permit because it's been drilled before. So we're hoping that that permit will be ready by sort of quarter one, 2025. And then we have we have Sinto, which is our project up close to Tokipala in the in the more central porphyry area. That was started now. We've 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 released some initial geochem results. We've flown that. It's just finished yesterday on the on the drone mag. So we'll be we'll be processing those results quite shortly. And then we have Guaneros, obviously, we've just discussed that. And a fifth target is is also in the coastal belt, where we've got some regional magnetic anomalies that that obviously we can push forward and do some more research to to create another drill target. So there's a whole pipeline of drilling mm. which is which is on the way right now. I suppose when it comes to junior copper explorers, what is it that makes Solus an interesting investment proposition, do you reckon? We've been in the south of Peru now for for a while. We've acquired these assets uh, as we as we formed the company. What's been happening is we've spent a, a great deal of time on the ground, myself included, and we've developed a, a pretty unique knowledge of the prospectivity of the area. We've developed a, a very good model of where we think that copper mineralization can occur. And there's, there's two primary factors. There's the, there's the existence of the intrusive belt, which obviously is needed to form your porphyry coppers. And then there's a secondary factor, which are very high angle faults, which cross, which cross the intrusive belt. And um, we've been doing all of our sort of vectoring and exploration based on those two criteria. And as as of now, where we're finding mineralization seems to fit in with our exploration model. So we, we've identified this, this coastal belt, as we call it, and the, mo the most prospective areas. And what, what we saw was that between Chancho Al Palo and Ilo Este, which are, which are 17 kilometers apart, this big piece of ground became available. Um, we immediately staked it. That's become Guaneros. And it's exactly in the same sort of trend and has exactly the same characteristics. So we're very pleased that the, the, the MAG that we've got to date and the geochem is starting to confirm that our exploration models are, are quite valid. Good to speak, Mike. Thanks for your time. Thank you, Andrew.